Hey guys and girls, my name's Jamie Gray and welcome to another Earth Moving Equipment Magazine case study. And I'm here today with uh, Tim Skidmore oh, from yeah. City Circle Excavations and Demolition. How you going, mate? Yeah, very well. That's the way, mate, that's the way. So look, what can you tell us about where we are today and what's going on behind us here? Ah, uh, we're in St Kilda Road, Melbourne, just uh, probably only a kilometre from the CBD. We're pretty close. Uh, we've just coming to the back end of pulling down a six storey building and uh, we're pulling out the remaining foundations. Mate, there's still some pretty big heavy old foundations in there, right? Yeah, it's a slightly newer building than we usually pull down, so yep. they're getting bigger and bigger with the new buildings. Perfect, perfect. Tim, so what can you tell us about City Circle, mate? How long you been running for and give us a little bit of a history? <laughs> Probably about 30 years since the mid 80s. Okay. Uh, it's nearly 35 years now, so wow. um, yeah, started off as a little rubbish removal company and now we're pulling down some of the biggest buildings in Melbourne. Wow. Wow, fantastic. So what's that sort of transition been like, mate? How's it been sort of moving? Uh, slow and steady. Slow and steady. <laughs> bought one excavator, then bought two, then bought three, fantastic. then bought four. And now I think we've got about nearly 100. So. Fantastic. That's awesome, mate. That's awesome. So what can you share with me about your relationship with CJD and Volvo? So CJD, uh, one of our newer suppliers of machinery. Okay, cool. Um, we're, as our business is growing, we're getting into bigger and bigger machines. Yep. And we feel that that's CJD's specialty. The well, bigger, awesome. the better. Awesome. So what about the uh, the big old beast we've got back here? What are we looking at? That's the newest addition to the fleet, the uh, EC480 EHR. And a pretty impressive new addition too, right? Yeah, so currently it's in uh, normal digging mode with the yep. small boom, but yep. it's actually got a, a 28 metre boom for, for high reach awesome. demolition. It started off in high reach mode here, uh, pulled down the six storey building. Perfect. And now it's pulling out the last of the foundation. Awesome mate, awesome. So what's it been like working with the guys from CJD? Yeah, very helpful, yep. uh, very friendly. Yep. Um, Brian's a great guy yep. uh, and Darren's been terrific with his support. So Tim, what type of works do you guys typically undertake? Uh, so we're a specialist demolition business, yep. so the bigger the better. Yep. Um, so like what we had here, a six storey building, um, big industrial sheds, uh, we do a lot of infrastructure work, okay. uh, train lines, freeways, that kind of stuff. Perfect, mate, perfect. So um, what moving forward, what kind of big projects have you got on the radar? What's coming up? So the next job for this beast here is uh, just down the road in Queens Road, okay. Melbourne, another four-storey office block. Okay. Um, and then we're looking for something bigger after that. Okay, very cool. So what's been some of the key sort of uh, you know, landmark jobs that you've done over the last 12 months? Since we've had this machine, uh, we knocked over a 28 metre high shed up in Fiskville, the old CFA okay. site. Yeah. Uh, we took a six storey concrete staircase off the Etworth Freemasons Hospital in East Melbourne. Okay. And then it's bulldozed this, bulldozed this big building. Yeah, perfect, mate. Oh, that sounds fantastic. Well, look, I tell you what, we've got Gavin, your operator over there, so why don't we grab him let's and we can chat. see how the machine feels and how he's been finding it. Cool, let's do Alrighty. it. So we're here with Gavin Harris, our operator. How you going, mate? Good, how are you? Good to meet you. you How's the site down here been going? Oh, a little bit slow, but luckily we've got some Big gear to yeah, you know do some wrong. big work. And um, have you been in the, the new Volvo? Yeah, yeah. Cool. Yep. How you find it? What's it oh, what's it feel like? Good, powerful. Yep. yep. The, we've got the long reach arm for it, so yeah. The building was six stories, I think. So wow. chewed all that down and now we're into the big stuff in the ground. Yeah, awesome. What's the hydraulic site? Oh, unreal. Yeah, yeah it's good. Nice yeah. and smooth, quiet. Yep. Were there any key features in this one that sort of stood out to you? Oh probably the high reach part of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we've got the extra power because you've got the the wider tracks and the uh, can of weights and everything. So yeah. what's it like? Is it pretty nimble for a big machine? How does oh. it actually feel moving around? Yeah, good. Solid, yeah. strong, stable. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Plenty uh, of power. Perfect, mate. Perfect. So how long have you been working with the guys at City Circle for? Oh, about 12 years, I think. Oh, perfect, mate. You're, a, you're an old man. <laughs> yeah. Not as old as some, but... <laughs> <laughs> awesome, mate. Awesome. Well, look, thanks for sharing that with no us, worries. Gavin. Awesome, mate. Best of luck on the rest of the job. Thanks. Cheers, dude. So, guys, I'm here with Darren Coates from CJD Equipment. How you going, mate? Good I'm to well, see mate. you. How are you? Perfect. Really good, really good. So, what can you share with me about your relationship with the guys at City Circle and how things have been moving? Uh, pretty well. The last couple of years, yeah, we've got a couple of machines in here. Obviously, the 480 EHR. Uh, we've got a lot of synergies together, CJD yep. and City Circle, both family-owned businesses, yep. both been around for in excess of you know, 30 and 40 years, and hopefully uh, we continue to grow together in a partnership. So right. guys, I'm here with Brian Lawson from CJD. How are you going, nice buddy? Good, man. That's yeah. the way. So what can you share with us specs-wise about this big old beast we've got back here? <laughs> yeah, well, it's a purpose-built demolition machine. Yep. So in, uh, as in her current configuration, she weighs around about 68 tonne. Yep. So it's a 480 super, super structure. 
Yeah. With 70 ton undercarriage, 75 ton undercarriage. Um, she goes with a three and a half meter intermediate arm with the boob configuration taking her out to 18 meters and then right. we've got the high reach option as well, Fantastic. which takes her out to 28 meters. Perfect for sites like this when the big old building is here. Absolutely, brilliant. Gives you a lot of versatility yep. so you can start off high, work your way work down your way and down. then right down into the footings and that you've got the like, complete solution. Like we are today with the ripper back there, cool. Yeah. So how long does it actually take to take it from the full extension and reduce the, uh, the boom arm size? You're talking, um, with one operator and, and a guy on site, you're looking to you're looking at doing the changeover within an hour. Okay, with, cool. Which is uh, phenomenal in this industry, as Tim will tell you. Uh, back with the older sort of style, yep. take a group of guys up to a day, day and a half to change it over. So Perfect. this is really quick and easy, and it's purpose built yep. for for this application. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. So so guys, that pretty much wraps up another Earth Moving Equipment Magazine case study. Guys, thanks so much for having us on site. Appreciate it. Pleasure, James. Tim. Thank you, mate. Awesome. Oh, thanks very much. Ryan, <laughs> Thank you guys. So everyone, thanks so much for tuning in. We hope you enjoyed this case study and make sure you stay safe on site and we'll catch you real soon. Take care.